You don't have to be a particularly keen observer of pro cycling to notice that over recent seasons the peloton has become increasingly beard centric. Call them what you will, face fungus, grass grin, lip foliage or even mobile tea strainer. Beards on bikes are here to stay. So here's GCN's pick of the best from the pro peloton. Applying his trade at present for Europe car, despite the numerous team shifts, the Hirsute all-rounder has remained consistent in one area, his voluminous facial hair. With a remarkable resemblance for Jesus, Cravens combines a chevron moustache with luxuriant beard, veering between the classic Garibaldi and modern lumbosexual, with some observers suggesting it's even touching Darwinian. Without doubt, Paolini is a pioneer in the field. One of the elder statesmen of the modern peloton, the Milanese has captivated the Tafosi with his mature reddish thatch, a furry beacon of style that has inspired so many others to follow, but few being able to emulate. El Gerva of late has been sporting a longer Hollywoodian style of differing lengths, sometimes indicative of his current form. Housewives' favourite Tom Bonin's Belgian bum fluff appears to be modelled on his equally popular footballing counterpart, David Beckham. Both have gone for a well-groomed man ecure that shows off their chiselled jawlines, creating a face fuzz that is just at home in either sportswear or a snazzy suit. The slow-talking, fast-moving Canadian has always had the whole I just want to live in a cabin in the foothills of a mountain range and hunt my own dinner vibe going on. And the resplendent facial barnet that he began cultivating in 2013 cements the look. A simple beard for a simple man. Beardy Eisel obviously plays no heed to Men's Mag GQ, who state it's generally more flattering to blend from the throat area upwards and not to cut any hard lines. His almost precision shaved Bernie Bush stops bang on his lower chin. However, the fastest hipster on two wheels has still spawned his own mini-me in Cofidis's Loic Chateau. Who'd have thought cycling could be lucky enough to attract two such fine specimens? Uh, a beard, I mean. Like all good celebrity couples, Bradley Wiggins and his beard have been on and off for a couple of years now. Wiggo introduced his semi-ginger gin tickler around the time that he bid farewell to his sideburns, and he hasn't looked back since. Wiggins and his whiskers have even attended Buckingham Palace together to receive his knighthood. Now, how many pro peloton beards can say they've done that? Fan favourite Lawrence Ten Dam's beard has just as much tenacity as the Dutch cyclist. Originally part of his Wolfman look, the Lotto NL Yumbo rider thankfully now sports a shorter hairdo, but the face forest remains. The beard has been through a lot, mainly snot and dribble, since it became famous following that crash in the 2011 Tour de France and is now one of the steadfast box beards of the peloton. The self-titled rock and ruler from John Alperson is often seen at the head of affairs, his swashbuckling racing style and manicured face follicles shaping a quite unique synergy. A constant presence in breakaways already this season has seen the Berliner take an early lead in the unofficial UCI Brown jersey competition. As equally famed for his pencil moustache, as his remarkable sprinting prowess, John Degenkolb is a recent adopter of the crumb catcher, but sports his in a very different style to teammate and fellow countryman Simon Geschke. The 2014 Gent Wevelgem victor has adopted a Quaker style chin curtain, a tight variation that hugs the jawline and suggests the owner wants to join the hipster club without compromising his watts. The Lamprey Merida climber spends the off-season months planning not only for the season ahead, but also for how to best maintain and enrich his already impressive Mexican-style tash, soul patch, occasional goatee combo. There are echoes of Pantani here without doubt, although for this Colombian chameleon, his ever-changing mouth-brow styles will paradoxically remain a constant. Yeah.